beautiful people, welcome to our very first episode of Expose and Express Online Talk Show. And today's topic is from stay-at-home mom to mompreneurs. This month of May, we honor and we want to give our gratitude to all the mothers out there who serve their family fully and wholeheartedly. My name is Jenny Umali. I am the founder of Successful Self-Made Women and Purple Light Reiki Healing. And with me today are my amazing and successful co-hosts, Burns, Irina, Jill, and Rochi. Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Burns and I'm the founder of Kickstart Digital Media Strategy and I am a lead generation expert. Hi everyone, welcome to our show. My name is Irina Kay and I'm the CEO and founder of Turologia Sustainable Business Consulting. I'm a business coach and I help women unleash the goddess within. Hi everyone, my name is Jill Steven Brode. I'm a life and business coach and it's time to make your move. Hi everyone, it's Rachi, the blogger behind The Frugalista Mom. I'm a food allergy mentor. And as I always say, in a world of I cannot, be the I can. So nice to meet everyone here in the inside of Expose and Express online talk show. I'm so excited to introduce our very first guest. So she used to be a stay-at-home mom hero. Yes. So later on, we're going to talk about what happened to her, why she decided to be more than a stay-at-home mom. And of course, you are going to be inspired of her story. Let's all welcome Melissa Aydukas. Hello, everyone. Hi, Melissa. Welcome to the show. Thank you for gracing the show with your presence. I'm sure a lot of uh, women out there can relate to you. And everyone wanted wants to know more about you and your experiences so i'm curious when did you decide to become a stay-at-home mom well um i think my my kids decided to do that for me because i have to take care of them so i love them love and my kids love for my kids how many kids do you have i'm curious i have two boys rafael 18 years old and justin 13 years old. Oh, wow. So what did you do before you had your kids? I did Mary Kay. I did dab chocolates, something mm. like that. So, you know, here and there. And then, poof, I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Too much time at home? <laughs> yeah, I still stay at home. Well, hi, Melissa. My name is Jill, and I'm super excited that you're here today. Uh, so what are of the things that you know stay-at-home moms they you know there's always pros and cons to whether you, you stay at home versus working full-time it, it is good um, to uh, stay home with my kids because I was able to um, enjoy their growth and um, yeah that's a good that's a good thing part of um, staying home with them This is the thing for the stay-at-home mom. The, the husband thinks that we're not doing anything, you know, like I, I have all the time, you know, that's why I have to clean the house, I have to cook, I have to, you know, like uh, take care of my kids, you know, and kids have tantrums, you know, and I need to have like a friends for them to play with, you know, and um I, my experience with the, with the mom's club, you know, one of the kids like, first day hurts my son and you know like oh my god if you're the mom i'm a mama bear you know you yeah. hurt my son and like uh, you know it, it got a conflict right away but you know i have to protect my son i think and, that's one of the struggles right i think that's one of the struggles of being a stay-at-home mom you yeah. got to really protect your children you're pa you're losing a lot of patience when it comes to uh dealing with other people who mm -hmm. whom you feel like is taking advantage of your children. Yeah, and now my Justin says, oh, mom, you're having friends because of me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> because, of, because of his classmate, you know? You're having friends because of me. So, <laughs> so and the good thing is like, the, I'm really a full-time mom. I don't have friends that I can talk to. I just stay with them, you know. I baby talk them and then my husband told me, oh boy, 
you have to go out and meet some people. You know, meet to uh, talk to adult people. <laughs> Jill, you also once a stay at home mom. So do you actually relate? Yeah, relate. Absolutely. I think that at the very core, we go through, uh, um, you know, similar to the state. And that's the key is the connection um, with um, other moms and helping you through those difficult times because it is not only physically draining, but mentally draining as well. And, you know, our um, significant others, our spouses, they, you know, they don't see on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, what it feels like to be in the house. And I always suggest to um, other moms that are stay at home to really take that time, whether it's one day or half a day or even one hour for yourself to really um, help maintain your identity and to fill up your cup and to really feel those emotions that are true to yourself. And it's easy on a day-to-day -day basis to, you know, give and give and give. And a lot of my clients experience that, and at the end of the day, their cup is dry. And unfortunately, that is when our relationships struggle with our spouses and our, you know, significant others. And that's when things start to crumble because there's the lack of respect then and the lack of trust and a lot of things turn for the worse. So it's important um, for all of, you know, I, I always stress to my clients, it's always to fill up your cup because then you can continue to give how you naturally want to give. And um, approaching these situations um, without judgment and with a loving heart when it comes to difficult conversations around what you're experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis, those struggles, whether your children are young or if they're teenagers, which, you know, yours are, um, there's different struggles in you, um, or their needs are still real and the, and the issues are still real. That's right. And having those open conversations is, is important.